So today I'm going to show you how to create this 3D type animation in Cinema 4D. So first thing we need to do is add in a text object and I'm just going to change the text. So whatever word you're putting in, just repeat it. So I'm putting in shiny. It's going to change the depth to something like 50. And the height, I'm just going to up the height a wee bit. So let's center that up. So now I'm going to come into immediate points and change up the subdivided just so it bends better. And the maximum length, I'm going to change that to 1. And I'm actually going to change the typeface here. So I'm going to change this to active black. So I'm just going to add a bit of a bevel, just 2 centimeters. And the cap type, I'm going to change to just a regular grid. So that's us got enough subdivision now for the, the bend to work. So come back to normal shading mode. And then we're going to add in a bend object. And just add that under text. Then it's going to do fit the parent and make sure you've got the X negative. And what we're going to do is, so if we keep length and, oh, I just realised I've done angle instead of strength. So go unlimited, strength up full, angle, and then click fit the parent. So we can just disable that, it's looking good. And what we want to do is add in a twist. We'll add that underneath and again fit the parent x negative and put the angle up to 360. You may have to click the fit the parent again and we'll enable both and basically that's the look we're, we're going for. So obviously you can tidy this up and, and center it. Um, I'm just going to rotate this quickly um, just for tutorial purposes but again you could center that and get the alignment all right on the grid. So I'm just going to move this up just so I can then move the, the twist object, as you see here, up on the y-axis, and that essentially does the movement. I just need to make sure that's unlimited, yep, for the twist. So as that moves up, the, the twist is basically happening, and that's how we get the animation. So again, this is pretty crude. Uh, it's not the rotation I want, it's the x. So um, I'm just going to set a keyframe here. Like I said, you can round these numbers off, but I'm just doing this for tutorial purpose. So, and I'm actually just eyeballing this. So we want that to complete a full 360. So that looks about right. Just double check both the last frame. So I just need to come back a wee bit. Yeah, somewhere like there. Again, you can um, you know, create this so it's kind of whole numbers and yeah, but. For the sake of this tutorial, that looks right, and just make sure we've got these keyframes linear. And if basically hit play here, so that's that's basically the the animation. Now, obviously, we want to to take a frame off here, just so it doesn't skip at the end. But basically, from here, you can change the the depth of the type. You can change the typeface. Um, just any changes you make, just remember to go into both the twist and the bend and go to fit the parent, um, or else it's going to look a wee bit uh, skewed. So, yeah, basically that's the tutorial. And if you'd like to see part two where I look at the lighting and rendering, let me know, and I'll speak to you guys soon.